Viewer discretion advised. Meet Mark McGriff. He's a good-natured but very spoiled and entitled rich kid. He's never had to work a day in his life and lives off of his parents' money. One day, Mark's luck changed for the worse when he received a knock on his door. What the cold hell? Who is that? Okay, guys, so we'll start with the ugly golems and then get the uh, tacky ass naked lady shaped end tables. Don't drop anything, all right? Uh, hey, hello. Can you please tell me what's going uh, on? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you need help lifting that pissy smelling couch or oh, you guys got? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Hey, uh, are you Mark? Yes. Then you need to hit up, uh,. Mr. Lawrence uh, McGriff, if you want to know what's happening. This is Lawrence McGriff, Mark's father, an entrepreneurial tycoon. To understand what was going on, Mark gave his father a call. Dad? Hey, boy. Yeah, these guys just busted in my apartment and they're taking my stuff. What's going on? Oh, damn. I forgot to tell you. Phyllis! Phyllis! It was supposed to remind me to call the boy and tell him we broke. Phyllis, where you at? Look, Mark, I don't know what to tell you. The money's all gone, and we can't take care of your leeching grown ass no more. So you're going to have to man up and get by on your own. And before you ask, no, you can't come back here to live. I just don't have the room. He did have the room. How did you not know we were broke anyway? Don't you watch the news? Mark never watched the news. But the reports of his father's money woes were on all of the major news channels for weeks. The economy has yet another company floating in the crapper. And this time, it's McGriff Eastern Incorporated that's about to be flushed down the toilet. CEO Lawrence McGriff filed for bankruptcy for himself and the company saying, quote, We broke as hell. Didn't I tell your dumbasses that the first time? Up next, we interview a fat man in prison for choking his girlfriend while Damn, my dude. You ain't gonna even unplug it before you take uh, it? It looks like we're almost done. Oh, uh, we're gonna need those clothes too, sir. My clothes? So what the hell am I supposed to wear? Now this is a big time downgrade. Cool, guys. Uh, everything's nah, gonna be crazy. this shit cool. Yeah, there's just one last thing we gotta take out of it. Hey, man, you ain't got to be shoving me down. So, with nothing but the clothes on his back and his cell phone, Mark called the only person he could think of that could help him. His old childhood friend, Crazy. After walking for an hour and a half, Mark finally made it to Crazy's apartment. That's all I need is a couple of dollars and a little bit of crack. I'll be back on my feet, baby. Come on, Miss Jenkins. I know you're naked out there, so I'm not opening this door. Hey, crazy, it's me. Oh, uh, my bad, man. Come on in. Miss Jenkins trying to keep putting them titties in my face and give me some ass and stuff and let me pay this rent. Well, what's wrong with that? Nip, yeah, she's 78 years old. Plus, I told her the last time was the last time. You feel me? That's just real. Hey, what up, old Fred? I haven't seen you. Don't what up me, you dying lemon looking Uncle Tom chocolate covered white boy. You wanna show back up now that your daddy is broke, huh? I see that your uncle hasn't changed. So your folks are dead as broke? Man, you should have seen it. Repo Man just came in and took everything. Ah, uh, just give this baby bitch nigga a handkerchief. They just took everything. Ring, 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 ring. Anyway, 
Can I crash here for a while till I figure things out? No problem, man. Hell oh, no, you can't stay here. You useless shit. Get the fuck out. Damn, Fred, shut the hell up. You don't live here. Go back to Grandma's house. <sighs> she gonna be mad. Pass my goddamn curfew. It looks like you only have one bedroom. So you got a place for me to sleep? Cause I ain't sleeping with you. Hell yeah. <laughs> you sitting on it, nigga. I guess this is as good as it gets for now. Mark took a look at his surroundings and remembered how he used to live. He then had a revelation. You know what? We can do better than this. Say what now? Think about it, crazy. Aren't you tired of living in this shithole? So you call my home a shithole on your first night here? I'm serious. And you serious? Craze, we can do better than this. Well, what you got in mind? Nothing yet, but I bet if we put some thought in, we could come up with some way for me to get rich again. You too. We could get that money and leave this hellhole. Keep fucking talking about my place, and you're going to be leaving this hellhole tonight, nigga. Come on, man. Help me out. Let me help you out. Shit. Why not, man? I got nothing to lose. Cool. I better get some sleep. It's been a long day. Thanks again, man. You don't know how much. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. I better lock the door to my room tonight since you're out mushing and in your damn feelings. Mark was relieved and felt that he could actually sleep peacefully that night, with the confidence that things would get better soon. That feeling didn't last long, though. I forgot what it was like to be in the hood. Stop fucking talking to yourself and go to sleep. Give me a. Come on, I have to sit home.